After that will be Ricky Ortiz and Infiltration. Oh, right, right, right. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. I am an idiot. Come here. Stupidity confirmed. All right. So Jimmy Tran trying to make that fancy Kazuya stuff happen. I, I pointed out to, to Mike Ross earlier, he got knocked out, he got eliminated by Clakey D and Shady K. And I think that's funny because we can kind of swap the letters Clakey around. K. So you could get a Clady K and Shaky D. I actually, I like Shaky D. Yeah. Uh, I think a, yo, uh, Shaky D is a pretty cool name. Yeah. yeah. And I'm going to change my name to uh, J JDC so I can guaranteed beat Mike Ross, and you should change your name to uh, Ultra D. JV. Yo, Ultra D. Ultra D. Yeah, exactly. Ultra D sounds pretty legit. Well, this is. That sounds legit. Yeah, that's how you beat Mike Ross. Is have a nickname like that. Yeah. So, or just play the game. Period. Yeah, right? I know. Yeah, so. yeah. All right. So, we got losers bracket action. Still, this is to make it into top eight. Shady K on the left. Jimmy Tran on the right. Still running both with the same teams. Parang Akuma, Rolento. Kazuya. Oh, here oh, comes. Oh, goes for the throw. Interesting. Yeah, I mean, he did have the combo opportunity. I just don't think oh. that he's expected it to be happening yeah. in time. Not a lot of good setups off that Huarin throw. They recover kind of at the same time. Yeah. And here comes 200 yen, charging oh. up for the counter hit. They didn't quite get it. But once again, that cross rush from Kazuya. Yeah. So safe. Whether you end with hard punch or hard kick. And look at the damage that he's doing here to Huarin. Huarin's got to get out of there. And you see Jimmy going to the wall. He was expecting a hard tag out. Right. He would have been able to punish it. And he's still threatening. He's still threatening with that off the wall. But the problem is this time that he's playing right now, he's actually wasting valuable exactly. time on the clock. Exactly, yeah. It's getting down now to where he's really in trouble. Right, and now he's going to take this damage. It's almost like just swap, take your damage, and move on. Right, yeah. Now you he's just only don't got, have time. He's only got 23 seconds left to try to make a comeback. He's got to get. He's literally got to kill Kazuya. It's the only chance. He can't yeah. just hold, hope to whittle down life and win on that. And now, seriously, Jimmy can just hold down back for the rest of the fight. Or he's just, not going to need to. Or but. just finish it. But yeah, it, it sounds ridiculous to say, all he's got to do is kill the character. Or no, he's, he's got to kill the character to win the round. Like, yeah. that's not okay. <laughs> Thanks, David. But like, actually, you know, there, there are situations here where if you do a lot of damage to one character and then there's a switch out, that you're going to die anyway. Right. You, oh. you got to get the kill. Nice little anti-air super there to start it off. And the nice thing about that is no recoverable life on that. So he's lost 400 damage, essentially. And now he's not going to have any recoverable life. Warang is not getting anything right. back now. And that's really good for him. But we expected the roll, but here comes Electric again. God, three, four Electrics just consistently getting that. That is not easy. But already doing really, really well is Jimmy Tran. No surprise, he's definitely known for having really, really top tier execution. The same with all the games he plays. Now JDK trying to fight his way out of the corner. But again, all that time spent, that 15, 20 seconds there, trying to find a way out of the corner, is just, it's wasted, you know? I mean, it's, right. it's, it's strange because you know you can't go crazy rushing. You know you're trying to find a way out. But you gotta make it happen as soon as possible in this game. There is no time to spare. Nice little mix up there, empty jump. Great block. But, yeah. And great block again by Jimmy Tran, who has basically been running away for 30 seconds already. Yeah, and now look at this. Look how much more health he has. He has almost like three fourths oh, of the character. It. Oh, never mind. It's not even going to matter anymore. And Jimmy Tran takes the first game. But yeah, Shady K was uh, having to deal with Jimmy's runaway from literally about 60 seconds on the clock in that game. Shady K now trying to make something happen a little bit faster this time. He saw, you know, Jimmy Tran. Even though there wasn't, there weren't timeouts there. They both knew time was a huge factor. That really played a huge role in why Shady K was making the decisions that he was making and why Jimmy was making the ones he was making. Comes in for the launcher. Like I said, always let that standing roundhouse hit both times before doing the cross. And you see oh. that that standing short is kind of like an option select. It's in safe itself. meaty. Yeah, safe meaty there. Yeah, that's actually pretty common in this game. A lot of characters have wake-ups that have very, very long timing, or yeah, very, the, very long startups. The overall speed of moves in this game was uh, lengthened significantly from Street Fighter 4. Like, it's very rare to have three-frame normal moves now right. in this game. There's that medium little mix-up, but he jumps back over because he wants to keep 
Jimmy in the corner. And that's kind of a nice little trick because oh, you, no, jump, why? you jump behind him so that if he rolls, he rolls into the corner right, and then you jump back out. So that's a smart play. That's definitely the trick. That, that one wrist special gave Jimmy a huge chance to take down a, oh, this oh, might be it here ow, on Horong. Ow. If he gets, he does get the wow. kill. It's match point now for Jimmy. Half damage with Kazuya only. This is why Kazuya, a lot of people are picking him to I, be one of the top characters in this game. I definitely agree with that. Okay, come, come in with the counter hit setup right there. Wow, I don't even oh. know what that move does. I know, I'm not even sure if that was an overhead. Oh, did he use the dive kick? That was sick. Oh, Alex Vai looks like he just uh, defeated an EG Flow on Street Fighter 4. Okay. So now Jimmy Chan's gonna have to try to get in. It's so strange, man. You, at 75 seconds, we're already thinking about this. Yeah, I know. But that's the way it works. It is the way it because, works. Because like, after that one combo, it's 65 seconds. Every combo drains a whole 10 seconds right. off of the clock. Oh, here it comes. Big, big chance here for Jimmy, and he drops it. Oh, wow. No roll in the teleport as is typical of Akuma there. So he's getting some good damage here. Oh, overhead, Ooh. I guess. I guess. <laughs> he says it's unblockable. Oh, is it like Street Fighter 4 style? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Really? yeah. That's, that's definitely in this game. The, so it's the like same it's unblockable. It's yeah. like like left, right, unblockable. You can't see. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay. So it's not a, it's not a high low setup. It's just that crazy Street Fighter 4 style unblockable. I, you know, I've found a couple already. Right. I'm happy to see that Shady K has also found one. That's really quote unquote God. awesome. See, that's one of those game systems that they needed that that has needed to be patched out of Street Fighter 4, and they couldn't even figure out how to get rid of it from Cross Tekken. It looks like. That is some dirty stuff. I like it. It's never you just existed. can't be in that position now. It's never existed in any other fighting game that kind of unblockable. Right. I mean, it's not literally unblockable if you block with one frame timing. You got the answer here. Right. If you block with one frame timing, okay, you'll block it. It's, that's just really hard in practice. Yeah, absolutely. Good damage on that. Like you were saying before, it's not scaled. It's going to build a little bit of meter over there with just, the electric. Yep. Jimmy Tran still on match point. Knocks him out of the air, but can't keep it up for the whole way. Ooh. Jimmy trying to get it. Oh, doesn't see... The whip sweep in time. Oh, nice little frame trap there. Caught him. Gets some good damage here. Let's see if we can get some. Oh wow, nice little electric there. But Jimmy Chan is still in the in the life lead here. Jimmy doing a really good job with that electric. Oh, that was a huge chance to guarantee a lot of damage for Shady K. Instead, he drops it and he takes a lot of life himself. This is gonna put Jimmy Chan up big time in life. Getting away, okay, fine, escape. But that's just playing a Jimmy right now. He is fine. If Akuma wants to run away for the rest of the match, fine, you lose. Yeah, because Jimmy right now, easily in control of this fight because there's only 27 seconds left on the clock. Look at this, he's just playing defensive right now. That's all Sh he's gotta do. Shady has to open himself up to get in all day and without a lot of effective overheads that reach that far, there's really not much he can do. He's gotta get, yeah, I like him tagging in Huang. Oh no, I really want Huang in for that kind of unblockable it's stuff. Over. It's over. It's over now. It's over. Jimmy can literally just sit there and do nothing. I mean, he, like, he, he can get hit, he can't do nothing, but it's just really, really hard. And it's literally over now, Jimmy takes it over Shady K.